guys, Lori here. I'm back to start a new reading vlog. Um, it is August 1st, um, and I just wanted to start a new reading vlog. Um, so I've actually got a lot of reading done the past week. I was in Virginia with my cousin for her bachelor out weekend, and we wound up extending it, so we wound up staying a little bit while longer. This morning, I did finish Legendary by Stephanie Garber, which I don't know what took me so long to read it, and like I cannot physically find my book. It's somewhere in my bedroom, but I just can't. I don't remember where I put it. But that book, like, was really, really good. From what I recall, I wasn't the... I mean, I liked Caraval, but I didn't love Caraval. I loved Legendary. I loved Tella as a main character. I loved the Caraval game that was set up. I really enjoyed, like, the various romantic entanglements that were in that book. I just thought the world building was spectacular. I think that she, like, went above and beyond what I was expecting. Took the book to a whole new level, which I really wasn't expecting. I gave it five stars, and that was that along with Aurora Rising, which I read for the Reading Rushathon, was two of my favorite books of the year by far. I am still trugging through Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I am liking it. It's not my favorite book, I'll say that. And I think it has a lot of trigger warnings. Um, and it's a very paranormal based book. Um, and it's a lot of info dumping, especially in the start of it. She's also a very can be like a very unlikable character. So I'm, I got up to page 350. I'm going to read 50 pages tomorrow and then 50 pages the next day. Just because it's a little bit of a denser read. Um, right now I would say it's like a three and a half star read. I will see if the ending changes my thoughts. Um, but there is a lot of trigger warnings in this book. So if you are contemplating and picking up in October, definitely know that it, there is a lot of trigger warnings about this book. Then um, I wound up picking up The Starless Sea by Erin Morganson. Now this was the book everyone wanted at BEA. I have not read The Night Circus yet, but I decided to pick this book up. I am really intrigued by it. The only thing I know is it follows this character named Zachary, and he winds up picking up a book that's telling him his life story. That's the only thing I know, and I finally got to that chapter, so I really just want to keep reading and find out what happens next to Zachary. But it's a book that's definitely about book lovers. There's like, you know, there, there was a cool library. He's a book lover. So I'm really intrigued and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't know much about it um, other than the part I just told you. This is also an early read too. So I think I'm going to go dive back into my book and then I will give you guys a further update. Maybe if not tonight, then definitely tomorrow morning. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Guys, Lori here. I'm back. Um, I just wanted to update and tell you guys I have made some progress on Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm now on page 390. Um, and my goal is to read like 10 more pages. Um, and then I'm going to actually I'll see, I'll see how far I can get because I'm gonna go for a bike ride and I'll read in the park for a little bit. Um, so that's my plan of attack right now. I am liking this book, it definitely is like a very like creepy book I'll say that it has like a lot of like mystical and magical elements the main character is definitely unlikable and if you have a problem with unlikable narrators then this book may not be the one for you it also has a lot of trigger warnings but I do think the world is really interesting so I'm compelled by that I'm compelled to see what happens we're like right at the end um so I'm definitely gonna finish this book it's definitely not my favorite thriller novel but I do like the world the world is definitely what kept me compelling um, and I'm probably going to hopefully, I would love to finish reading it today. Um, that's my plan of attack anyway. Um, I do, I, because I stayed a few more days in New, in Virginia, I'm a little bit behind on my video schedule, so I would like to set this stuff up up. And then tomorrow, I'm actually going back to the city because my professor is, like, leaving her, um, where she's, you know, where I, where, where I went to school and she's having, like, a big goodbye party. So I want to go see her and thank her for all she's done. This is really the last weekend that I really have like off off because once Monday hits I'm gonna really start prepping for school and start thinking about next year. So I'm trying to like enjoy it while I can and get some stuff done if I can. Sorry I just got my necklace back so I've been playing playing with it a lot. Um, but yeah so I actually I, I am gonna go for a bike ride once my phone charges a little bit and then I'm gonna go read for a little bit and hopefully make some progress on Ninth House. Um, and then I might dive back into the Starless Sea or I may pick up a middle grade. I don't know. I'm still like indecisive about that. But I will definitely update you guys when I return from my bike ride. Hey here, I'm back. It's a little bit later than I originally planned. It's almost 7. But I did actually get 
some reading done and I got some planning done. So I was super excited. Um, I did actually wind up finishing Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I will say I did like it. I didn't love it. And I think that going into it, it would have helped me knowing there's probably going to be a second book. Um, because this book focus so much on world building that it really took me a while because it's such a unique world, but it just took me a while to like adjust to it. Um, and the character Ken was like a little bit unlikable at points and I sometimes I struggle with unlikable characters, but I did like it. I think I would give it definitely like a four stars. The mystery was really interesting. The main character was super unique and super different. Um, so I really liked it. I wound up giving it a four stars. I really hope we get a sequel. Um, I know this book comes out in October and I'll definitely have my review up closer to when that book goes live. Um, but I actually did like it and I wound up giving it four stars. Um, I, I, now I'm going to be reading Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, but I think because I'm going to the city tomorrow, um, I think I'm going to pick another book just because I am... I mean, I am sending this away to someone and my backpack when I travel tends to be a little bit messy. So I think I'm going to pick another book and I'm going to go pick that and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I'm going to read at least tonight while I'm watching some booktube and stuff. That I did pick up was Keeper of the Lost Cities Everblaze by Shannon Messenger. This will be on my TBR. I'm going to film that next. Um, so I am going to decide tonight between reading one of these two. It just depends on what I want to be more focused on. I really am intrigued by Starless Sea, so this might wind up getting read tonight. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. But these are the books that I'm reading right now. I haven't picked an audiobook yet either. Um, I have been trying to catch up on Veronica Mars because I felt I fell a little bit farther behind than I wanted. Um, so yeah, that's my reading plans right now. I still have to film my August TBR, which I'm going to go film right now. Um, so that will be up Sunday, so be keeping a nose out on that. I'm going to go film my TBR video, and if I get a lot of reading done today, I'll definitely come in and I'll check in. But if not, I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hi, guys. Laurie here. I'm just checking back in. I didn't update yesterday because I went out all day, and then I went to a party for my theater teacher who wound up running our program and she wound up leaving the position so we wanted to say goodbye to her um and I did say that I was gonna read a different book yesterday because I didn't want to bring this book out but I did decide to so now I'm page I'm on page 172 of it this book is so interesting it's like such like an interesting structure and like I'm really liking it I'm just wondering like how th there's basically two big parts of this book and one part of the book is like a series of stories in a book that you're reading and then the other part is a character who's like potentially going to this world. It's so interesting. It's so compelling. I'm so captivated. I just don't know where it's like what the point of it is. Like it's very like I'm watching the Umbrella Academy right now. And there's a character in this book that reminds me a lot of, like, the person that's with five in that. So I'm really interested. I haven't read her book, The Night Circus, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I was originally planning on, like, reading 100 pages every day, but I just want to keep reading. Um, I'm also in the middle of listening to Sadie by Courtney Summers. That's, like, a really interesting structure book as well. And I'm really liking that. I have to do some organizing today and some cleaning, so I'm going to put that on. Um, I'm also going to go for a bike ride. Um, and I have to do some planning today as well for school. Um, but yeah, so that's my plans right now. Um, and I have to do some books, Instagram and like blog stuff for this week. So you guys have content. It's also my birthday this week. My birthday's on Friday. Um, and I want to film a bunch of videos for you this month. So next month I'm like actually ahead on videos. That's the plan. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. But I'll definitely update you guys about my progress on the Starless Sea um, when I come back from my bike ride. I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hey, here it's a much later than I originally thought. It's oh, it's like a little bit past nine, but I did actually go for my bike ride, and I actually did wind up reading a little bit more. I'm right at page two hundred, so I have to read a couple more pages to get to page two hundred. This book is just so interesting like I don't even know how to describe it but it's such like a magical read like it's been a while that I've read a book that's just pure magic and this book is just pure magic and unlike Ninth House that I just read that had a lot of magical elements this book is like pure magic and it's just so compelling to read um 
I'm I'm really I'm I'm intrigued. I'm just I'm really intrigued. Um, and I did wind up listening to a couple of chapters from Harry Potter. My goal is by the end of this year, I want to finish Deathly Hallows. Um, and also I'm listening to Mugglecast and they're about to start book five. So I really, really want to finish Harry Potter. So I read like one chapter and now I'm about to start the chapter that I hate or not hate, but I severely dislike. And if you haven't read Harry Potter book seven, don't know what you are doing with your life, honestly. But I'm about to read, spoiler learning, avert your eyes or avert your ears when Hedwig dies. So I really hate that chapter. It's heartbreaking. I know it's like really important to the narrative, but it's just a hard chapter to listen to. Um, so I actually did get a lot of prep stuff done for school. Some of you had did say earlier that you guys wanted to know what I was doing. Um, but I did actually finish the design book that I was working on and now I'm going through this book called Drama Projects for the Middle School Classroom and I'm just seeing like what I think some of the some of my classes could do or what it, what do I think I could do. So this is the book that I'm working on and this is a book that's like a little bit different from what I've been doing. Um, I am making handouts and I am making like assignments and stuff but this is like I'm really like reading through everything and being like okay, well, this can go into, like, you know, semester one or semester two or semester three or semester four. So it's a little bit more curriculum-based than the work I have been doing, so that's good. Um, I'm definitely going to be working on that tomorrow again. Um, and I just literally just sat down. I filmed a ton of videos for you guys. Right now, not, like, I'm going, my, my goal is to have one video every week. And then a reading vlog every, like, two weeks. That's my plan. Um, so I'm hopeful that I will at least have a lot of content for you guys. Um, and I might actually do more videos, like, if I have a lot of content. But my goal is to be very far ahead on videos so that I can have a lot of content. And then I can keep being ahead on videos. Um, I have fallen a lot of behind on booktube videos. And it wasn't even my fault watching them, I mean, because I was away with my cousin and we didn't have internet up there. Or down there because I was in Virginia. So I am going to go continue reading The Starless Sea and walking, watching some older booktube videos for the last couple of weeks that I was gone. And then tomorrow I will check back in. If I make a lot more progress on The Starless Sea, I'll definitely update you guys. It's been a while since I like did like a readathon. I really want to do one before, like a 24-hour readathon before I go back to school. Um, but yeah, this book is just, it's really interesting and compelling and it's kind of hard to explain um, but that's cool. So I'm really, I'm really enjoying it and hopefully I'll get to read a little bit more tonight. But if I don't talk to you guys tonight, I'll talk to you guys early tomorrow morning. Bye guys. Larry here. I'm just checking back in. I did actually wind up watching all of my booktube videos that I have been far behind on. So now tomorrow I can watch the videos for August, which is super exciting. Um, so I did actually make one of make this progress on Jealousy. I'm now on page 226, which is just under 50%. This book is really interesting because it's, an, it's another book that you have to pay a lot of close attention to because it's basically like two different narratives always and then there's like other narratives that come before it but all like the story narratives are connected and then Zach, he has a storyline. But it's so interesting. Like I'm compelled. I want to know what's the and like what's the end game of the story part of this and how that connects to Zach um it, like is Zach going to meet all of these story characters like is that gonna happen or is that not what's happening so that's what I'm like curious about because it kind of reminds me of like a YA fantasy novel like, in some ways, but it's just very, like, elevated, and it's very, like, um, complicated, but it's just so well done. I love, like, the short chapters. I think that that's one thing I'm really liking. Um, it's just that the connections, I'm sure, are brilliant. I just can't wait to know what they are, because I have, like, all these theories, but, like, some of them are really obvious, and then other ones are like, oh, is that really that person? So, I'm just curious to see how, like, the stories connect, but I'm probably going to stop reading. It's actually like almost like 1130. Um, and I'm probably going to watch maybe something on Netflix. I don't really know. Um, I'm going to try to wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow. 
um, so I can have like a longer day of like reading and stuff like that. Um, but I'll definitely check in with you guys tomorrow to let you guys know what my plans are. I have some potential plans right now, but they might change. And it's also my birthday week. My birthday's Friday, um, and I really want to get a lot of reading done. Um, and after I reach LSD, I'll pick my next book. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another update. Bye, guys. Hey guys, Laura here. I'm back. It is August 5th. Um, so I did read a lot last night as I updated, and I read a little bit more this morning. So now I'm on page 230 of The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This book is just super interesting. Like, I don't, like, I can't explain it because I don't want to give, like, massive spoilers, but I'm loving the structure of this novel. I think it's such a cool structure, and I'm curious to see where it goes. I think I've said this before, but, like, I really like the story part of this. I really like Zach as the lead character. Um, it's just really interesting. Like, the world is really interesting. Um, the characters are super interesting. Zach is definitely, like, just going to like this world that he has no he has no concept of um but I'm like really intrigued by it I'm curious to see like what's gonna happen in the story and I'm on page 230 and I the book is like about 500 pages long I definitely will not finish this book today it's just not gonna happen but I hope to make some more progress on it um I also do have to do some stuff for work today or school do some prepping I did actually a lot of prepping yesterday um, and I'll probably do a little bit more. And then tonight, I'm probably going to watch Veronica Mars so I can listen to... I'll probably watch, like, six episodes of it so I can finally get caught up on that podcast. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to actually dive in to Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare while I'm waiting for my Audible subscription to, to drop so I can get Tower of Dawn. Um, but yeah, that's my plan of attack right now. Um, but I'm def I'll go for a bike ride and I'll update you guys on my reading when I come back. But yeah, that's my plan and I'll be sure to update you guys in a little bit. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm just checking back in. I did actually wind up listening to the chapter of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, um, where they're flying to the burrow and a lot of drama happens. And I'm very excited to listen to the feedback session that I watch on Alohomora. So that's very exciting. That chapter is always hard for me to listen to. I don't think I've actually listened to that chapter since Deathly Hallows came out, which is like a long time ago. So this reread is very, very needed. Um, and I did make a little bit more progress on the fallacy. I'm now on page 304. My goal is to get up to page like 330 or 350 and then read something else tonight um, and then do the same other thing tomorrow. But I'm really liking this book. The, the interconnections are becoming a tad more obvious, which I'm really enjoying. Um, but it's definitely a book that's super interesting. I really now want to go read The Night Circus, even though I swore all, all my friends, oh, you already read The Night Circus. I have never read it, but apparently I told people that I did. I don't know why I would say that. Um, but I'm really excited to finish this and make this a priority this week. Um, but yeah, so I'll definitely update you guys when I get up to that page or and decide what I'm going to read tonight. I have a lot of episodes of Veronica Mars to catch up on and I just want to watch something, read something like a contemporary that's just a little lighter and not, I, I don't focus solely on. But yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to go back to planning a little bit more for school and then I'm going to go read. So I'll, I'll update you guys after I'm done planning and I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. I'm just checking back in. I did want to making a little bit more progress on the Star <coughs> Sorry. The Starless Sea by Evan Morgenstern. I'm now on page 320, I would say. It's just, it's it's such a complicated story that I'm really, really enjoying. I'm really loving it. I think the world's fascinating. I'm really excited to hopefully finish this by the end of the week. Um, but I'm going to take a small break. I fell a little bit behind on my TBR, TBR and Beyond reading challenge. So I decided to do a roll and read a book in the evening tonight. And that one I picked up was American Royals by Catherine McGee. This book does come out in September, and it says, The power of the drama, the intrigue, the crown. What if America had a royal, a royal family? I don't know anything about this book, but I'm super excited to dive in. It sounds like it will be like a perfect summer beach read, and I am really excited. So I'm going to start reading this, take a little bit of a break from this, and dive back into this read tomorrow. Tomorrow's a very, very busy day because we, we have to run a lot of errands. But I'm on page... Th so if I could get up to page... Like four, let's see. I think it'd be like four hundred tomorrow. I'd actually be super happy. So that's kind of my plan, and that's like 
So a little bit less than 100 pages. I think that that's a, I think that that's a doable. So that's my plan for tomorrow. And tonight I'm going to read American Royals. And I'll definitely check back in as I make a little bit of progress. Because right now I don't, have, I don't have any progress for you guys. But that is the plan. And I'll be sure to check in before I go to bed tonight. Bye. So I'm just checking back in. I actually did a lot of errands today. Some school related. Some just you know, shower theme that I'm going to a bunch of showers this week. So I did make a bit more progress on the Starless Sea. Um, I'm really intrigued now. I was going to stop reading right when I'm at to, but I, now I'm curious and I really kind of want to read the last section. So I think that's what I might do. I might try to tackle a little bit more. Um, I have fallen a little bit behind on some television shows. So what I might do is I might put on some older, newer booktube videos that I just haven't seen, and then maybe dive into the Starless Sea and actually try to finish it. Uh, that's like my plan. Um, my stomach's hurting me a little bit, so I may not wind up reading a lot, but that is my tentative plan right now. I'll be sure to check back in when I'm done. Um, I want to make a little bit more progress. I'm Right now I'm on page 403 of this. So I'll definitely check back in when I'm done. I, I, I think I could probably finish this tonight. But yeah, that's my plans for the evening, and I'll be sure to check in. Talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hello, you here. I'm back. I did actually wind up finishing The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This book was, like, so fascinating. It's definitely a book that I'm going to have to, like, read again at some point because I'm really intrigued by it. I thought it was such a solid read, such an interesting read. Um, it's one of those books that, like, I don't want to say too much about because I really don't want you to, like, be spoiled because this book really should go in, like, totally blind like how I did. I would definitely give give it between four and a half stars and five stars. Like, I really enjoyed it. I thought the end was a little bit confusing at points, but I think that that's kind of just the nature of the book that she wrote. But I was really interested in it. I thought the characters were super interesting. There was, like, LGBTQ references. I just really love this setting. I thought it was really interesting. I love all the different point of views that you got. Um, it was just a really interesting novel. I definitely am going to check out Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This might be a book that I wind up getting, like, the audiobook for, like, eventually maybe in 2020 um, and just, like, catching up again. But I really did enjoy it. <coughs> so, I am going to pick up American Royals. I'm about... 34 pages in, and I didn't update you guys on this yesterday because I was a little bit tired, um, but it's basically about, it's like an alternate history of America, but in this world, George Washington became a king, um, and we have an, like, we have an American royal family, which I think is so interesting, um, and it basically follows, right now it's like these four girls um, and it's like the Amer it's like basically their lives. And you have a girl who is going to be the first queen. You have her younger sister. Then you have the her younger sister's best friend. And then you have one of the girls that is wants to date the only boy in the family. Only about thirty four pages in, so I don't know a whole lot about this book. But I am, I, I am very intrigued, and I would like to dive in and read a little bit more. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to watch some of my current booktube videos, which I keep saying that I'm going to do. Um, and yeah, and I will definitely update you guys if I make a lot more progress on American Royals. This book does come out in September, so I do want to make some progress on it. And it is a book for the Time Warp YA Book Club. But for Starless Sea, I did give it three and a half, I mean, sorry, four and a half, five stars. It was very, very compelling. I just... Don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil anybody. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Here, I'm back. It is August 7th. It is Wednesday. Um, I just wanted to check in. I did actually make some progress on the American Royals last night and this morning. I'm now on page, like, 56 of it. And I'm really enjoying it. I love a good royal, royal theme book. I love the Royals. I love the British Royals. Um, this book is really interesting because it focuses on all the female characters in this little world. Um, and they're all so different. You have, like, the future Queen of America, basically. Or the future Princess of America. Um, you have her younger sister. And then you have two other girls. So I'm really loving being in all their heads because it's super interesting. There's also a set of twins in this book that I really, really like. And I just think it's really interesting how she's creating this world. Because it's, you know, what if America had a king? And I think that that's such a cool 
like concept that you've never like really read about so i'm really liking how she's building this world um so i'm about i would say about 56 pages in um and i'm actually really enjoying it um i have been listening to tower of dawn and i think i said it earlier in this video i'm like oh i'm so excited this book is going to be about dorian this book is not about dorian it's about kale which i am really happy about i have conflicting feelings about kale throughout this series but I'm really excited for a book that's focused solely on him because you didn't see him at all in Empire of Storms. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm loving the girl that he's with. So I'm about three chapters into that. I was supposed to run a lot of errands with my mom today, but she recently injured her foot. So I don't know what our errands are going to be, but I have gone back to planning. I didn't plan at all yesterday. So I'm back to doing drama projects for the middle school classroom, and I'm just making some work and I said this before and I will probably say this continually as this month goes on I love having time to sit down and plan it's something that I really enjoy I'm also loving that I have time to sit down and plan videos months and months in advance I am a planner by nature I love it I adore planning I know it sounds so geeky but it's totally true like I love to have a plan and I like get very very upset when I can't plan or when my plan does not go the way I want it to um, so I'm really liking just sitting down and planning. I really haven't started like planning like technically like classroom management stuff, but I've started planning like work stuff. Um, and I normally teach between seven and 10 classes. It just depends on like schedules and stuff. And I won't know my actual classes until the first the week, week before I go back. Um, but I'm feeling a lot more relief that I'm actually able to plan um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Depending on my mom, I might, we might go out and run some errands. If not, I might just read a little bit, um, go for another bike ride and finish tackle the American Royals. But a large part of this day is going to be drama projects in the, for, the, for the middle school classroom, reading through that, working on some assignments. If my future students or if my old students are watching this, this book is totally new to them. So hopefully it produced some good results. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Laura here. I'm just checking back in. I actually had to run a couple of errands with my cousin and I did actually wind up doing stuff with my mom which is helpful. It's pouring now. We actually came home early. But I did actually make a little bit more progress on the American Royals. I'm now on chapter, I mean page 144. I really do like this book. I think that all the different point of views are really interesting. One thing I'm really liking is that every character has something that they're like hiding or like a mystery. And I'm really liking that because every character is seems like it's a very, very straightforward storyline. And I love the world building. Like, Catherine McGee is making this, like, alternate history book, like, so fascinating. Um, but I'm liking that all the characters have, like, a certain, like, romantic entanglement. And then they also have, like, a secret that, that they're hiding. Um, I think this is really, really compelling. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I really don't want to put this book down. I really want to keep reading it. Um... I'm liking that all it's all female leads, but you do get a lot about Jefferson, which is um, one of the, which is the only boy in the family. I'm just really, really liking it. I'm really enjoying it, and it's a super fun read. So I'm gonna go back reading it, but I wanted to give you guys a small check in. If I make a lot more progress, I'll definitely check back in tonight, but it might be tomorrow morning. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Hey here I'm back. I actually did sit down and finally watch. Um, the USA Gymnastics, the US Classic Competition, because the um, the US Championship, the National Championship, is this week, and I like to watch them in order, and I also could not find a, a commentary one. It's really hard for me sometimes to watch gymnastics, not that anyone cares about this, but it's very hard for me to watch gymnastics without, like, audio commentary, like, commentary by Tim Daggett and Nasty Lukin, because... I don't know, I love watching gymnastics, but I don't always understand what I'm watching, so their commentary is super helpful. I love Simone Biles, I love Morgan Hurd. I'm so sad that Riley McCuster is, I mean, no, 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 Reagan Smith is no longer going to be an elite gymnast, but I wish her the best of luck in the future. So as I was watching all that, um, I did read a little bit more of American Royals, I'm now on page 178. This book is just so compelling to read. Like, I'm really liking it. I definitely would say that Beatrice's story has some new adult elements because it's clear that she graduated. 
So she's in that new adult world, but I feel like her life experience makes her more of like a YA character. I really like her sister and the two other girls that we're getting because the point of views are like so different. I really think Jefferson is like a sweet character. I love how Beatrice and both Beatrice and um, Nina are have some very complicated romantic situations. And so does... Um, so does um, be um, Samantha. So I think that it's like a very, very compelling read. I really am loving the world building though. Like this book has such fascinating world building because you could almost put it as like a dystopian basically, but not as like creepy and scary. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. I really would love to finish this book tomorrow. I'm going to like look on Goodreads and tell you how long I'm far I am in tomorrow, like percentage wise, but I'm really enjoying it. So that was my book update and my gymnastics update, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Sorry I did not update this morning. I was really on a kick to do some of my work for school because my ultimate goal was before my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. Um, I wanted to finish one of the books that I was working on, but it just did not happen. But that's okay. I actually did wind up listening, in addition to doing a lot of schoolwork, I also did wind up listening to three chapters of um, The Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Moss. Guys, I think this is my favorite Sarah J. Moss book. And I love Sarah J. Moss. But what I tend to like with Sarah J. Moss is I like books that focus, like, storylines that really focus on one or two characters just because it's really easy for me to follow. So this book, I know it was, was supposed to be a novella, but then it got extended. It's a kale theme novel. And I'm sure there are interconnections back to Selena's story because she talks about her. But it's a very, very straight run storyline, and I'm really liking Cal in this book. I'm loving all the other characters that he's integrating himself or meeting. So I'm about, I think I'm about six chapters into that, I think. Um, so when I wasn't doing schoolwork, I was doing that. And then I wound up making a little bit more progress on The American Royal by Catherine McGee. I'm now on page 218. I'm so bummed this book got like a little bit wet. But that's okay. Um, but there's definitely a climax has hit or like a t something has happened that kind of threw one of the characters for a loop. And that that experience is going to kind of affect all the other characters. So I'm really liking it. I would love to tackle a lot of this book tonight. My birthday is tomorrow. I normally like to start a new read on my birthday. I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm really liking this book. So I'm going to go and I'm going to finish watching um, a a true crime thing and then I don't know I might wind up going back and watching Veronica Mars or I might watch a couple more episodes and nailed it I haven't quite decided nailed it is this awesome baking tv show on Netflix that I'm like loving so I don't know what I'm gonna watch next but once I'm done with that true crime thing I'll let you guys know how much farther I made it on this book right now I'm on page 240 and it's getting really good so I'll definitely check back in when I'm done with that true crime thing and I'll talk to you guys later for another update bye it is August 9th, and that is my 32nd birthday. Um, so I spent the day, I spent the day with my nephew, who I adore. I don't get to see him nearly as much as I want to because scheduling and life. But while I was watching him, I did wind up finishing American Royals by Catherine McGee. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was such a good read. I definitely would give it like four stars. I thought some elements were a little bit predictable. But you know what? It was such an engaging read. I really loved the world that Catherine McGee gated for an American royal system. Thought that was really cool. I also loved all the female point of views that we got. Definitely set it up for a sequel. I love all the romantic entanglements that we got. I just really liked it. Gave it four stars. Some elements were a little bit predictable, but, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was a really compelling read. The stakes were raised, and it was it was a hard novel to predict as well. In some instances, some instances it was a little bit predictable, but I really liked it. Gave it four stars. I definitely will be reading the sequel when it comes out, and I just really enjoyed it. And it was like a perfect summer read. I'm a really really big fan of the Royals, and yeah. So actually, ironically, I was trying to get my cousin, my little nephew involved in reading, so I had him go to my bookshelf and pick a book. So he wanted picking up the Camelot Code for me to read next. The Camelot Code, Geeks and the Holy Grail. And it was funny because after I did that, I wound up rolling my next book for the Time Warp YA Book Club. I mean, oh no, not for um, TBR and Beyond Reading Challenge for, for, for Beach Bash. And the 
the the prompt was read a purple book. So there's purple on this cover, which I'm super excited about. So this is the next book that I'm reading. This is the next adventure in the Camelot Code series. I really love the first Camelot Code series. I thought it was like so cute. And I really read it really, really fast. I'm hopeful that this book will be another faster paced read. I have about three hours worth of content to watch for other people um, on their YouTube channels. I also have to go to a bridal shower tomorrow. Oh no, a baby, tomorrow, tomorrow's a baby shower. I have a lot of parties in the coming, upcoming week. So I'm going to read this, watch some book booktube. And yeah, just enjoy my birthday. I had a really, really nice birthday. Um, very, very low key, very, very relaxing. But it was super nice. This is also like when I realized like, I am kind of going back to school in two weeks. Um, sorry, my dad just poked his head in. Um, but, um, so I realized that like I do have to start planning probably the next week a little bit more than I wanted. But it's okay. But I'm, I'm about to dive into the Camelot Code Geeks and the Holy Grail. And I will talk to you guys later for another update. Hi guys, Lori here. I'm back. I just wanted to do a small update. It's about to be 8 o'clock and I did make some progress on the Camelot Code, um, the Geeks and the Holy Grail. I'm not, I, I really enjoyed the first one. For those that don't know, this is like a King Arthur inspired middle grade book that has to do with time travel and this book deals with the Holy Grail and I'm really liking it. It's just super fun. Like Sophie um, got made a companion in the last book, and now she has to go solve problems. Merlin is on spring break in Las Vegas during this book, so they're trying to go find her. A baby dragon is um, present in this book, but I'm really liking the, the, the dynamics. Last book, there was, like, a bunch of different, like, groupings of characters, and this book has, like, a bunch of different groupings, especially with Sophia and a couple of characters that we didn't really see last, last book. So I'm actually really liking it. I'm curious to see how her best friend becomes president in this book. It's currently they're in a different timeline. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm about um, 50 pages, 58 pages. This book reads like super fast, like most middle grades that I tackle. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to definitely read a little bit more. I am watching some booktube videos right now as well. But yeah, that's my plan of attack. And I will give you guys an update probably again tonight. I might wind up finishing this reading vlog and then starting a new one on Sunday, but I will definitely update you guys um, again this evening when I make a little bit more progress. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Right here. I'm back. I did find making a little more progress of the Camelot Code Geeks in the Holy Grail. I'm now on page 106 in this book. I am enjoying this book. I really did like the book um, the, the first book in the series because the group dynamics that we have were a little bit different right but right now this is like a two-prong storyline there's one prong where you're following Sophie and her her trio of characters as they go on an adventure to find Merlin and then you're following two totally new characters as they try to find their way back to Arthur who is dealing with some issues in this book um and I'm really liking it um, it's definitely, like, an Arthurian retelling, so you, names pop up, and, like, I look up, I'm like, oh, that's really that. Um, so Nimue is in this book, and Merlin's Apprentice is in this book, Merlin is in this book, and Arthur is in this book. Um, but I'm loving the, like, the dynamics, I'm loving the magic system in this book, I'm just really enjoying it. I'm loving how the world is, like, expanding, and she's giving us more magic rules, which I always like in a story. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm like about 106 pages in and I'm hopeful to tackle a little bit more. I'm definitely going to finish this reading vlog today, but I'm not going to be done reading tonight. So I'll probably close, or, close it out like later in the evening. But I just wanted to give you guys a small update on the Camelot Code Geeks and the Holy Grail. And I'll update you guys when I read probably 100 more pages. That will be my goal. I'll talk to you guys then. Bye. Here. I'm just here to wrap up this reading vlog. Um, I actually did wind up reading a lot of adult books in this reading vlog, and I don't normally do that, um, but that is just what this reading vlog tended to be. So I did wind up finishing Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, um, and I did like it. I didn't love it. It was definitely a thriller with some paranormal elements. I would give that book like four stars. Definitely set itself up for a book too, so I definitely read a book too. I would go check out my, you know, go see my thoughts previously, but if you want like a more cohesive wrap up, definitely check out my um, reading wrap up, which will be up at the end of August. So be sure to do that. I also wound up reading The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. 
Um, and I actually thought that that was one of my, one really like interesting and compelling book. I would give that book like four and a half stars. I really love the world building. I thought it was such a well-crafted novel. And I think I said this in the video. I would definitely consider re-listening to this at some point because it was such a complicated novel and had a lot of like interconnected pieces that I'm still not sure I like got all of those interconnections. But I really liked it. I definitely want to go back and read Night Circuits now because I've never actually read it. Um, so that book I wound up giving like four and a half stars, but I definitely am happy that I read it. Then I went up picking up American Royals by Catherine McGee, and I really, really love that book. I haven't read a pure contemporary book in a while, and that was just so fun. I love the royal setting. I loved how it was set in America. I loved the world building that Catherine McPhee did. I loved all the different characters that we got to meet, and the drama. There was so much drama. Dying for book two. Really curious to see where it goes, and that book had some unexpected twists and turns that I really, really liked. Um, and then I'm also just started reading, um, Tower of Doran by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I'm really loving that book by far. I think this is going to be, be my favorite Born of Glass novel and it's not even like, it's, it doesn't follow all the main characters, but I'm really liking the focus on Kill on that. And I have read 50, 150 pages of The Camelot Code by Mari Makuzi. Really liking this as well. And it's my birthday. So I just wanted to close out this reading vlog and I will probably start another reading vlog probably Sunday. Tomorrow we have a lot of errands to run so I probably won't start reading one but I might start one tomorrow too. But I'll talk to you guys later and let me know in the comments what you have been reading this week and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.